Hello, today we'll be doing a blender quick simulation, or I guess explode simulation. So the first thing you want to do is press A to select it, A to select everything, X to delete, and then we have a clean scene. Shift A, plane, and S10, the 10 won't show up there, because that was not bad. Uh, you pr probably should know we're going to be using numpad quite a lot, so hopefully you have one. So now this is our, I guess, base, I guess. And then, next thing we need to do is enable a very important add-on. So here, search up cell fracture. If you don't already have it enabled, you get it enabled. Don't worry, not hard to use. And then... If you do not have all already enabled, press Safe Preferences, Delete, and now we need to do the next thing. So right now we just have this, or before Self Fracture, we just had, what was it, Quick Effects, Quick Explode. Yeah, this, this, was, this is what we had at the time, <laughs> Quick Explode. <laughs> Quite bad, frankly. So now let's get something better. Let's get... Not a plane, a uh, what's the cylinder? GV one. Let's add some geometry to this. Control R. Yep, yep, yep. So let's say this is just our object. I haven't set the space for for operator search, but if you guys did it by default, it'll be F3. Or if you don't want to do that, you could just go to edit operator search. Now here we're gonna search cell fracture because I don't want to go find where it actually is, and you know. Okay. Should probably turn off caps. So you have all the own particles, you don't need to mess around with this right now. Just press OK. Give it a sec. There. Everything's been fractured to like a thousand pieces. Now let's do this GZ. Then rigid body active. Yes, close enough. And let's do rigid body. Let's just change it to passive so everything should be fine. Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, so now all these things need to actually get physics. If you watched my last tutorial. Probably not. You still don't understand what we're doing, do you? Well, turn it maybe turn on X-ray. Do box select. Well, I just have it already on box select. But if you don't want to do that, you can just press B. There. If everything's selected, wait. Wait. One sec. You should probably do this too. Set origin. Set origin to geometry. There you go. And then once you've done that, press shift, click. And that, uh, this normal object which already has your body. Then search, copy from, copy your body settings. I didn't delete that. Did it copy? Nope. It's an add-on. The only reason I got that error is because it's a different add-on that I have. Otherwise, it shouldn't happen with you guys. Because some of these guys have rigid body. Let's just quickly do this again. Set origin, set origin to geometry because we're normal people. Yeah, I guess that's good enough. Okay. Then. There. It just falls apart. And we don't need you. There. Okay, so now we have this... Massacre. <laughs> I don't know, it's just shattered. Now you can do this with any object you want. And also just probably not something straight of a lot of other objects. 
And you can also depend because you, you know, if it's just to not sell, sell. Is this one source limit? I'm just not sure you can do it. Noise. You, can, you should probably know what it means. Scale. You should understand what that means. Recursion. I don't know how to explain it. Just never touch this unless if you know what you're actually doing. Mesh data. You never really need to touch this. Physics volume. You don't really need to touch this. Objects. You should always have recenter on. Trust me. Otherwise, yeah, no, you're. For don't press OK for that. So now we have all that stuff done. If Blender would respond, we'd be continuing, but no. Okay. They have no record. <laughs> okay, so now let's just do some modifications with this. Now, it, right now it just falls apart. We want it to actually, like, explode, I guess. So for that, let's just scale this up. There. Yes, yeah, scale that down a bit. No. Just increase that. Okay, so we have this. Nope. Shady smooth though, I do not look like an idiot. And I don't often use shade smooth because a lot of the models I use don't play nice with it. Okay, so let's Surface response. Nope. Sensitivity. Yes, sensitivity. Turn on collision margin. 0 0.01. If you do mesh, it's going to be on one way or another. <laughs> then. Copy rigid body settings. Yay. Increase it. There. Let's do that. Huh. Let's try that. Yeah, go forward, not back. There. Fell. Blows up. You can increase it if you need by, you know, doing this. I feel like this was a kind of a long tutorial, but okay. Now let's do this with a bit more complicated object. One sec. And I'll just no. It should be fine if you guys see it. Open. I do not care about you. Done. Those things. No. Just. Uh, side projects. Yeah, that doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Okay, let's just do this. Uh, let's do you. GZ10. And if also you guys just wanted to know what happens here. One second, I'm, I'm gonna just turn up the time remapping to. supposed to happen or did it just end at this time oh I guess it adds a 600 then I remember that eventually some the person here gets killed oh yeah so that was where it ends so let's just then no okay what are we uh, doing this body part. Okay, let's do self fracture. This one I remember you had to do like a bit more. Give it a minute. Take some time. Hopefully we get a white Christmas and draw on it today. 
Yeah, it doesn't want to last all the time. You might have to do this a couple times. Now, for this one, you might want to do mesh. It's also going to give you a big explosion, so eh. Active, convex, all. Your mesh now. I said your mesh now. Oh, should probably. Should probably start that. <laughs> oh, well, let's do X ray mode. And box select. Copy from active. Copy Richard Body Settings. I've gotten so used to this. Because <laughs> I use Blender 2.79C usually. Or B. Sometimes you use C. Don't have it right now downloaded. I'm used to using this. Or actually, I learned a lot of this. How to use Blender in this. So remember, right click. Uh, yeah, right click select. Uh, let's see if we can get it. Oh, stuff has moved though. No, they don't have that anymore. Uh, wait, keys. You know, I guess they just don't have that anymore. I don't like that background. Nor do I like that. Yeah, that was okay, but let's see if we can get it. This is worse. <laughs> How did I make that? Well, hopefully that's done. Okay, so we have this now. Copy all. Let me just... Passive. There. I gave you guys active. Why aren't you... Why aren't you moving? You guys don't have keyframes, do you? Did I, like, miss something? This? Is that why? Do you want me to bake dynamics? Dynamics. Oh, that's why. So maybe I should just, you know, bake dynamics. Yeah, it was just, let's just bake dynamics before my computer catches on fire. I said bake dynamic before my computer catches on fire. Good, stopped. Dun dun. Oh, where's the cat? They moved all these things. What was it? Here shapes. Switch your body. Uh, delete all the expicle dynamics. That's gonna take some time, so I'm gonna give you a tour of Blender 2.79. So, in this version of Blender, you use right click to select, left click. Moved cursor. Yeah, just moved cursor. All your rendered stuff would be here, like if you want to go to rendered. Why am I doing cycles? There, my GPU is actually supported in this, so this actually goes well. Solid. Dun, dun, dun. Now if you want to do rigid bodies in physics, rigid body. You can see that we have a lot less things here. Wait. Nope, we still have that collision margin thing. Deforming. Nah. <laughs> Made with Blender. My backdrop. You don't need to do the rest of the simulation, we get it. Let, let's see how far it goes. We may have just hit that point. But I'm pretty sure you guys can see what I mean. It's a phone interactor, it is stuff doesn't have rigid body, so eh. Well, you see how it works. Comment down below if you guys want me to do the rest. I think I'm gonna ask. Or was it unknown? No, I still don't know what that is. Hold up. No, it wasn't the grass. Uh, chest rock to that thing. Yeah, if you can ask, this is what I'm right now working on. Don't need you. 
if my GPU decides it can do something today. It's decided it cannot, it refuses to do anything today. Go back. What I'm right now working on, don't expect to see it soon because render times, I can't do it with Eevee or shaders don't work. Guess I could always just do it with one shade, <laughs> just one. Okay, wait, pause this. I said pause. You know, just thank you for pausing. Let me just see if I can actually render this. One sec. So I'm gonna have to get you guys. Nah. Yeah, no, we're not doing one. <laughs> we're not doing one. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, yeah, I did this during 2.79 era, so that's why that. That beautiful denoiser. I think I actually rented this, or did I? The shader just looks like this because of certain other stuff. But otherwise, the shader looks great. I'll show you it right now. If it would load. You know, it's just like shaders take forever to load. Because. Uh, let's just wait. Is it actually being used? Yes, it is actually being used. Hmm, go from here. Now nah, I'm gonna just show you. This is here. <laughs> Shut up. This RGB <laughs> just holds the entire color. Let us. Comment down below if you also want a fluid simulation or a smoke. Or smoke simulation or whatever else. Have a good 